digital imaging with CNN, and I'm here at CES with the camera that Pentax just announced. It's the MX1, and it's Pentax's first uh, digital entry into the uh, amateur enthusiast compact uh, market, which you'd think Pentax would have been in it a long time ago, given that they're all about the uh, advanced enthusiast market segment. Uh, and they came out, honestly, in terms of specs, the camera seems kind of me too. It's very similar in design to the Fujifilm X20 and, you know, that, that type of uh, retro feeling camera. This one happens to be all black, but they have another model that is black with brass, and that's, that's actually a little more interesting looking. And they designed it with the brass so that it would age and get a patina and sort of, you know, show the wear and tear as a mark of the fact that you're a photographer. Uh, which is a very Pentaxian thing to do, and I think it's actually kind of clever of them. That said, the sensor, unfortunately, they went with a backside illuminated sensor, which to me isn't really a great, you know, enthusiast sensor. Uh, it does well in low light and tends to not be so great in good light, but the camera itself is nicely designed, it feels solid. Uh, has an interesting looking pop-up flash, but it doesn't tilt back the way I've been emphasizing that I, I like. It's, it, um, it also has a tilt display, tilts up 90 degrees and down 45, which I do like. It's great for off-angle shots. Uh, the, also, the other thing about it is that the buttons seem kind of small given that the camera itself isn't that small. Still, it's about the same size as models like the Panasonic LX7 and the Fujifilm X20 it's, and so on. And uh, given that it's Pentax's first camera in that segment, I'm looking forward to trying it. It's about $500 and should be shipping in, in a month or so. I'm Lori Grunin and this is the Pentax MX1.